Oh, Boogie right. Man Ben coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. Is Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow fiends, and thanks so much for dropping by. I hope everyone's doing well. I uh, wanted to do just a really quick video. Didn't know I was going to be getting these things in today, um, but. Uh, yeah, I got some cool stuff that I ordered recently from Fright Rags and uh, Mod Media Group. Um, if people follow me on Instagram, they know that I just recently did like a little impromptu video. Um, haven't been shooting a lot of videos. This week has been, again, another crazy one. Uh, my housework is done, so all the construction is done. If you followed that video on Instagram, I talk about the fact that it's all done. Flooring's done. Bathroom's done. Everything's done. But uh, it's left your buddy, the Boogeyman, very exhausted. My wife and I are both very tired. And now we're in the process of putting our house back together. So that's why I'm here in my office working again. But in that video on Instagram, I talked about Mod Media Group and the fact that I just recently got this movie from them. So it's called Friday the 13th Part 3 and Part 4, The Final Cut. So this is combining Friday the 13th uh, Part 3 and 3D and uh, the final chapter into one film. They did the similar thing with the Be Eating You cut of Jeepers Creepers, which combined Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. Um, I am going to be reviewing this for Friday the 13th, which is a week from today. So um, that is going to be a very awesome day because I'm also going to be hanging out with my buddies over at Fright Time the podcast that i did back on uh, right before memorial day weekend and it's going to be the start to an awesome weekend next weekend which is going to include a uh, free comic book day on saturday the 14th and then on sunday the 15th sinister creature con my first horror con in over two years cannot wait the last sinister creature con i went to was in june of 2019 when the world was normal and uh cannot wait to go to that but yeah i will be doing a review of this i have not watched it yet i got this when i was still in the hotel when the house was being worked on but yeah i I will be watching this and doing a review of it uh, for Friday the 13th. It'll be the first Friday the 13th since uh, November of last year. So, yeah, cannot wait to do this. Really excited about talking about this film and watching it and seeing how they put in. Because this is going to include the extra footage. Yeah, uh, Gomez just dropped by to say hi. Say hi, Gomez. He's getting big, isn't he? He's a little rascal. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be... Um, Include it includes the alternate ending uh, to the final chapter with sound, so I don't know how they did that, and also includes all the cutscenes uh, from both films. So cannot wait to watch that. But I got another package today from Mod Media Group, so I thought it was only fitting that I talk about this as well. So let's open this up. First time I'm seeing this, and this is just spectacular. This is Freddy vs. Jason Winner Takes All Edition. And I will showcase this up close at the end of the video. Um, this is uh, Freddy vs. Jason Winter Takes All Edition. It includes over 20 minutes of horrifying deleted scenes and features a heart-stopping alternate ending and, and never-before-seen opening. Sure to haunt your dreams and stalk you in the dark. So cannot wait to check this out. Again, my media group does fantastic work. I will showcase this up close at the end of the video. And it does have a reversible uh, artwork. So the, there's the... One you can switch it out to right there again we'll showcase it up close at the end let's try to get that back in there there we go and then the original artwork on the front but i love the color scheme they went with the blue for jason and the red for freddy just absolutely fantastic and i uh, can't say enough great things about them link down below to mod media group um to get a video for, to get one of their movies all you have to do is go onto their instagram page you see something you like you send them a message and they will tell you how to pay for said movie so it's really simple i bought three movies from them now and uh excellent process no issues everything arrives perfectly can't say enough great things about them the next item I got is a Fright Rag shirt. Um, been buying a lot more Fright Rags lately. I hadn't bought a lot of Fright Rags for some time, but I have another one I just ordered recently from their Burbs collection, and I can't wait to get that. I'm hoping I get it before the con, because I'd really like to wear it at the con. Um, but, yeah, let's check this one out. This is from their Jaws collection. They just put out a new Jaws collection, and I was scared I wasn't going to be able to get this, because I just didn't have the money at the time. And, of course... With every Fright Rags, you get the Warhead, oh, I'm sorry, it's Warhead, which I don't eat. I don't like sour candy very much. And uh, see what we got. I, always ha I already have this Fright Film Facts, but it says, come on, you hatchet-faced fuck. Let's see it right there. And it says, the crew is almost entirely the same crew who made Hatchet 1, one of Green's stipulations for whether or not he would return and helm 
hatchet too. So right there, Adam Green's hatchet franchise. I love the sticker I do not have. It's from Shocker. It's a movie I've only seen about maybe two or three times, but uh, Horace Pinker. And the shirt is awesome. It is from Jaws of the Revenge, a movie that is a guilty pleasure for me and one that I've always enjoyed and had to get this one. So yeah, that is it. Uh, showcasing brand new shirt from the Amazing Fright Rags. And of course, Freddy vs. Jason Winner Takes All Edition from Mod Media Group. Links down to Fright Rags, links down to Mod Media Group down below. Let me know what your favorite item was. And also, something else I'm working on. My friend Jerry Klein reached out to me several weeks ago again when all this craziness was going on in my life and asked me if I would review a new movie that she was the social media coordinator for. And that is called Bloodborne. Now, I did a review of a movie she also worked, uh, that she also did the same job for last year uh, called To Your Last Death. It was an animated horror film, had uh, actors like Ray Wise in it. Um, that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to do my review of Bloodborne, which I'm going to be shooting this weekend in the actual horror zone, not the office this time. Um, eventually, I will get this office cleaned up. It's kind of messy right now, but uh, trying to get it a little bit more horror-centric and an extension of the horror zone uh, for a lot of more movie reviews that I want to do in here, and I'm going to save the horror zone for like doing uh, toy reviews, t-shirt reviews, things like that. Um, so those videos will stay primarily in the horror zone, but I'd like to... Uh, have this be where I do all my movie stuff. So again, that's something I want to do eventually. We're still trying to get the house in order. Um, but I'm going to be doing that this weekend. Uh, Bloodborne will be doing the review of it and posting it early next week. Also, my good friend Deborah Voorhees, uh, somebody I haven't talked about in a very long time, Huge crush of mine, Friday the 13th Part 5, The New Beginning. She has gone back to her horror roots, and she has a new movie called uh, 13 Fanboy. If people remember from like 2018, I was doing some promotion for that. There was an Indiegogo campaign that I helped do a uh, promotion for. I donated to it. And, you know, with COVID and everything, things kind of, you know, got stalled a little bit with the production. Um, I haven't been involved in it as much as I was in the initial uh, kickoff, but Deborah and I reconnected. I said I'd help, um, you know, promote uh, the announcement that she made that it is going to be, um, the film is going to be coming out on October 22nd. It is going to be in theaters. It's going to be on On Demand. Uh, she did a, a video message to um, all of her followers on uh, the Deborah Voorhees uh, Facebook group, uh, which I will put a link down below to. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's going to have lots of Friday the 13th alumni in it, like Corey Feldman. It's going to have uh, Laura Park Lincoln. It's Deborah's going to be in it. It's going to have Judy Aronson, CJ Graham, Kane Hodder, I mean, amazing people, and I cannot wait to see it. Dee Wallace is going to be in it. Uh, Ron Sloan, who played Junior in Part 5. Uh, fantastic people, and I cannot wait to see the final product. Um, but yeah, that's exciting news. I can't wait to check that out. Uh, there's a lot of great things that are coming up. I'm really looking forward to some downtime, some fun times. Excited about the horror convention coming up in a week, and my buddies at Fright Time cannot wait to hang out with them again. So yeah, uh, lots of great stuff going on. I'm working on quite a bit. Uh, lots of video segments. I still want to do one more of my Psycho, 61 Years of Psycho series. One more of those. I know they've been spread out, but again, it's been a crazy year. But thanks so much, everyone, for dropping by. Thanks for checking out the new items I got. Again, let me know which one of these is your favorite. And uh, stay tuned for some more great horror content coming very soon. So take it easy. Have a great day. Happy Friday. Stay scared as always.